this a ticket Talking mother for the biggest That's a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it, get it Man, this a ticket Hey fam, um What's today? Today is March 2nd Yay, National Old Stuff Day Which is literally what we do here At Mixed Media Apparel Dot com Um, website is up now by the way Please check us out Got a few things. We'll be adding stuff constantly. We have all of this stuff yet to be designed. And all of that is fabric. All of that. All in here is fabric and trims. In here is more fabric. And both of the closets have fabric. So we are good with the fabric like we could open up our own joanne's over here for real for real but i didn't vlog i thought i was gonna vlog today but my phone that i normally like to shoot with is cracked the screen is cracked so i'm uh, rubbing trying to make it work with my camera it's like yeah you have a whole camera and you have another phone but to me iphone cameras look like you're using one of them old school like it is so fucking grainy and i don't want to carry a huge camera around everywhere i go it looks weird um so i have to go back to best buy I went yesterday they told me to make an appointment and that they also don't do samsung phones which is weird they told me to go to a different location so i went there today and it was all booked up so she made an appointment for me tomorrow <laughs> i'm like all right so it's only iPhone and Samsung. Like, how you don't do Samsung phones? That's weird to me. But anyway, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Probably got to kill some time because it probably take like an hour and a half. That's what the lady said. We don't have anything, like, coming up tomorrow or anything fun. I just want to kind of document, like, making shit, doing shit. Um, just get her started. Her is in my mom who is allergic to technology because she doesn't try. Yeah, just the design process, the creative process. I don't know how interested you will be in that unless you love art and sewing. But yeah, uh, right now I'm just watching more Kevin on stage, drinking rosé. I just did a TikTok. Follow us on TikTok as well. I think it's just mixed media. Our IG is mixed media IG. I don't know if you can see that. That's our IG. And our TikTok is official mixed media. Um, I gotta fix the Facebook. But I don't know if anyone even cares about Facebook anymore. I'm checking back with you. Tomorrow is dress in blue day. like, So I get kind of overwhelmed. When it comes to doing social media. Because I'm not a social person. And uh, it's, um, it can be a lot on my soul. So what I did was look up little like quirky national holidays or like celebrities birthdays or anything musical related that could correspond to a certain day to keep me like in a content. Let's see what, I made a little calendar for myself and I did it for, oops. I did it. Can you see me? I did it for March, April, and May just to get me started. But I mean, there's some days in between, obviously, that there's nothing that really makes sense. But yeah, that's just to help me kind of stay on track. Just something fun to post so it doesn't go by. Like, I think it's. I ain't posted anything since like Kwanzaa of last year. And we can't be having that. So yeah that's just if you don't know what to post just do that like if you own a food company trust me there's a little food related holiday like every freaking day like there's a holiday for everything not just the big ones but the little quirky ones so you could do a little tiktok or a reel or whatever the case might be for them and um in between i guess i'll just work on some clothes or make a youtube video or something just something to keep me going um but yeah I will see y'all tomorrow on Dress in Blue Day. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I guess I should wear something from the collection. I probably won't wear it out because it's not mine. But, oh, everything's in the other room. But whatever. 
I'll see you then. It's 11.22. I've been waiting already like 20 minutes. And then he took my phone and took it in the back to charge. He didn't take none of my information. He just had to charge my phone, which is interesting. Like, are you gonna check me in? Are you gonna ask me what my fucking name is? Like, I fucking hate this, but. All right, so I'm on my way back home. They don't have the part. Surprise, surprise. Um, They don't have the part. They don't think they are gonna get it till next Wednesday. And I'm a raw. I'm not bringing that phone back home. This is my third damn day at a Best Buy. Somebody gonna take this phone, so, my other phone. So, um, I just, I just was like, y'all keep it. I don't even have a charger for it. <laughs> my whole Samsung life is blown up. Just take, keep the phone. Call me when it's done. Um, probably sometime next week. So whatever. I, I was gonna go like get something to eat. I still ain't eat yet. Um, it's 11.50. I'll probably just go back and take my mom to the store. Um, and probably get something to eat after that. I'm craving pancakes. I want breakfast food. Um, so yeah, get ready for more raggedy reels and TikToks. Because it's going to be a grainy few days on this iPhone. <laughs> oh, I might try to use my camera. But, uh, it's, it's just awkward to hold. Anyway, happy National Blue Day. If I can ever get the freaking TikTok up. Um, what am I doing? Alright, yeah, I'm on my way. That's all I wanted. And we came in behind this lady down there and somehow we're behind three other people. I'm gonna have to try that next time I come. Just hop in front of people. What do you think? And you so damn non-confrontational. I gotta come with girl. You, you're just so nice. You too damn nice. Hey, nice and grainy again. But um, we're back home. Next in freaking fashion is on. I had no idea it was coming back on. I don't know if you know what next in fashion is. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's like a project runway, making the cut kind of thing. I love all three shows. Um, I grew up watching Project Runway, making a cut, and next in fashion kind of came out around quarantine era. It ain't been on since 2020, so I'm really pumped. I guess Netflix bought it. And my idea earlier, not earlier, like later, um, I was like, well, why don't we take some of our favorite shows and just do like a podcast about them? Because we watch all of them and we always got all these opinions. <laughs> and we usually write, at least I feel like I'm right. Um... And I think it'd just be something consistent to put on YouTube just to give commentary and stuff. And it's so inspirational. Like, I always feel like sewing or making something after watching one of these shows. And I kind of was like, it'd be kind of fun if I did the challenge beside these episodes. I know that would be kind of expensive. <laughs> but I don't know. I just, I love a challenge. It is so fun. Like, I would love to be on one of these shows for real. I don't think my sewing skills are that good. My mom could do it. I think she could do it, but 
she moves so daggone slow. She probably get eliminated for not having no finished garment. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, like we about to eat at Chipotle and watch uh, Next in Fashion. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Should we do like a Next in Fashion podcast? Like I'm definitely going to do one for the other shows when they come back on. Not like a podcast, but like a, you know, like a recap or whatever. Um... I want to do one for the Gilded Age. I don't know if anyone else likes that but me. I don't hear nobody talking about it, you know. But I love the Gilded Age. Um, are you going to do the recap with me? Yeah. Oh, you, you feel me? Yeah. Oh. All right, so I'm trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> it's 4:30 in the afternoon. I'm watching girls trippy yet again because I'm addicted. And um, okay, so I have two like things. I guess I want to get done today. I don't know if I'm gonna show the process, but here's a denim jacket. It's really cute. It's plain. Nothing is on it. And I was gonna take. I think I'm. I'm not sure yet. I'm so damn indecisive. I'm scared to even cut anything. Cause if I don't like it, I'm gonna be mad that I wasted, you know, some clothes. But I was gonna add this T-shirt to like the back, I guess. Cause the front, I can't really do too much. Not sewing wise, but I got all this space in the back. So I was probably going, and this double sided, so I wanted to figure out what to do with the back of the t shirt so that I'm not wasting it. <sighs> decisions, decisions, and then I got this Green Day t shirt, and these are plaid pants, but um, I just want it for the fabric, not for the the pants itself um so yeah i'm just trying to figure out like i really kind of want to put it on a hoodie though but all the hoodies we have either have something on them or they got zippers in them and i don't like working with zippers um yeah all this fabric is crazy um So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, trying to get my life in order. I wanted to do this, i probably do the coffee review tomorrow, because it's, it's too late to be drinking coffee. I'm going to be up all night, and I'm already drinking wine, so there's that. <laughs> but I'm around, yeah, let me, let me get to making something. I'd like to make one thing before today's over, so... This is what I have so far. Um, <clears throat> I hand stitch the stuff on the sleeves because you know when you put stuff on the sleeves, you can't really get it into the sewing machine. So, oh, shit. <laughs> so it'll kind of be like facing outward um, when you put it on. But I just flipped it like that. 
just to take pictures. But um, that's the front so far. I got this damn thing on a tripod, so it's awkward. But yeah, took the back of the shirt and put it, cut it up and put it in the front. I want to put something like here and here, but I don't know what, and I don't want to do too much, you know. Um, I do have one piece left though, and um. I don't know. I feel weird not using it. <laughs> I'm a little addicted to, I guess, not being wasteful. I don't know. Could it, it already says 21 pallets on the back. <clears throat> so that's the back. That's the front. And then I have another little cutout that say 21 pallets. So I'm like, well... I don't know, I could cut it in half and put like half here and half here, but I just feel like that's too much. Um, so I might just save this for a pair of jeans or some cargoes or something. I don't know. But um, I think I'm going to leave it alone. I might do some paint. Other than that, I don't think I'm going to sew anything else on it. Not tonight. I like hand sewing. I forgot how peaceful it is. But yeah, that's where we are right now let's see what renee is up to are you decent what are you working on oh. oh my god <laughs> what are you working on uh oh that's cute those are the flash yeah the champion pants and the black hoodie and I'm you just, it. I love that yep I cropped it and now I'm going to try to just make it work so okay all I gotta do is just sew the sleeves up finish the cup and it's done you see this we got like four sewing machines between us <laughs> So yeah, that's gonna be really cute. It's gonna be like a big blousy sleeve. Yep. I guess when it's yeah, it's gonna be like a balloon type of sleeve. I think I'm done with that jacket for tonight. I'm not doing nothing else to it. Um. Yep. <clears throat> so. Yeah. So yeah. I think this is uh, going to be it. I'm going to call it a night. Um, <clears throat> if I can get it on my face. I thank y'all for watching. <laughs> and hanging with me. Um, I'm having separation anxiety from my cell phone. But I'm going to be okay. Um, please subscribe. Share. Give us a thumbs up. Please leave a nice comment. And I will see y'all next time.